Hello friends, today is day 20 of our 30 day declutter and we are going to be decluttering DVDs. All right, so you may remember this footage from my five day declutter and organize of my closet. If you haven't seen that video, it is a good one. It's very motivational. I will link it above and I'm also gonna link it at the end of this video for you to go see. But this footage is really good for me to help describe what it is that I'm doing. So my husband is a collector or was a collector of DVDs. He has so many DVDs and then also Blu-rays. Now, I wish that he would have um, allowed us to get rid of a lot of these, but he wasn't ready yet. But what he did allow me to do is to go ahead and remove them from their jewel case. Now, the jewel case is the hard covering that goes around the um, DVD. So we removed them from there, and then I put them into binders for him. Now, I had him help me because it's very important that if somebody is a collector of things and um, it has gotten, like, way too many... Um, if you want them to even consider getting rid or paring down um, their collection, you need to have them help you. So I do have him come in and help me. But what I'm doing now is I'm just organizing everything into um, piles like um, drama or action or whatever. So I've got all these um, DVDs um, and Blu-rays. There is a difference. <laughs> I didn't know that, but there is a difference between the two. Anyways, I have all these divided up. And he's going to come in and he's going to pare down some of them. Um, and then the rest of them we are going to put into the binders. So I'm really proud for um, the things that he did get rid of. And by the end of it, he was saying, why have I saved so many of these? So I think eventually he will end up um, getting rid of more. Now, the other thing that I do is... Um, I put them in the binder and then I put them in his office. That's another thing that if you want somebody to really um, be um, mindful of what they have, they need to see it, especially somebody who tends to hold on to things that we don't think that they really need. But if they see it long enough, then they may decide on their own that they want to go ahead and get rid of it. So that's what I did is I put them in the binders and I ended up having to um, buy a second binder because he has so many. I ended up um, getting a second binder. And I divided it up. CDs in one. No, not CDs. DVDs in one. And then in the other one, I put the Blu-ray. And um, I am categorizing them in here. And also it has a spot where you can um, take the cover of whatever um you know, the movie is and put it in one spot. So that way he has all the information that he needs on that um, DVD. Now, obviously this took me much longer than 15 minutes. And I know that this is a 15 minute declutter, but I really think that it's a good one. So you might um, divide it up into 15 minutes a day if you have um, a lot like this, or you just might want to buckle down and spend the day getting this done. I will say that this was a very difficult day for Michael because it, it's overwhelming to go through all these things. And um, he is a perfectionist. So um, he wanted to be sure that he had, you know, all the collections in the right categories and, and all that. But again, he does um, now realize that he has far too many. And I suspect that eventually he will get in here and remove some of these. But until then, at least they're nice and categorized inside the binder for him and he can, um, you know, remove them whenever he's ready. All right, friends, I hope that this is giving you motivation to get in there and um, clear out your DVDs, Blu-rays, CDs, things like that. If it's given you motivation, please give me a big thumbs up. It really helps my YouTube channel. And don't forget to go see that video of the five-day declutter and organize of my closet. It really is a good one. If you're interested, I will link these binders down in the description box. I'll see you again tomorrow. Until then, stay blessed, my friends. Mm -hmm.